What's up guys, Chris from One More Cast. So I just got off work a little bit early. I went to the house, grabbed the kayak, didn't have any plans for the rest of the day. So there's this kayak launch I've been really wanting to try that's five minutes down the road from my house. It's so close. And I've been doing some Google, looking at the Google Maps and stuff like that and kind of mapping it out a little bit. So today I finally decided to do just a quick two hour, two, three hour, you know, trip at this one spot. So I just got, I just got out here, I'm about to go put in look at the map see what way I want to take and see what I can get into tides coming in so hopefully I can catch some of the fish that are coming up these canals right now I'll see you guys soon so this is the first uh, point I've came to it's just a little point usually points are really good to uh, throw at especially when a tide is moving so we're gonna throw at this point right here see if we can't get something that's possibly uh, sitting off this point waiting to get a lot of times fish will sit on these points and wait to ambush bait that's coming through with the tide So, um, in this spot, not too far from my house, you know, I got off work and my fiance was out with one of her friends and she said she was going to be out for a few hours. So she pretty much told me like, Hey babe, just go fit. Why don't you go fishing? You've been wanting to go fishing and make another video because I didn't get to go Friday. So this spot's literally three to five minutes away from my house. I've been wanting to try it for a while now, so this is pretty much the perfect excuse to try it so I can still be home, fish it for a couple hours, still be home before dinner. So I haven't really done too much research on the place. I really like the way it looks right now. <coughs> There's a lot of points and a lot of divots to fish. These docks are going to be nice because... They're going to be holding snook and tarpon and stuff during springtime. There actually might be snook and tarpon up here right now just because they'll come up these canals and stuff during the winter time because it's more of a muddy bottom. So I might get lucky and get a snook or maybe a little juvenile tarpon. a nice cast right there so usually when you see these points you want to throw at them especially on an incoming tide or an outgoing tide you want to throw in the direction that the tides come in because these fish will sit on these corners on these back side of these corners and they'll ambush the bait as it's flowing in with the tide so a good thing to do is just pitch at these corners and you know you don't even have to work it that much because the tide will do a lot of it for you. Same thing as if you're um, fishing with like shrimp. Oh, something just swiped at it as soon as it hit the water. I think it was a little snook. Let's see if we can. Yep. See, there's a little snook. The same thing if you're um, fishing with like um, if you're fishing with like. Uh, shrimp or panfish or greenies you're going to find a point and then anchor down from the point that way whenever you do um pitch it to them they can uh the bait will come down on its own you don't want to swipe at it again i seen him it was a little snook he wasn't big 
knows. Um, that's what you pretty much do whenever you come to places like this. You just figure out, you just come to these points and you start drifting these points down. That's the best way to figure these spots out. You'll find your deep holes and I mean, you can go venture off right now, but the tide's not up enough yet. So the best thing to do is stay in the main channel. Because one, if you stay in the main channel, especially on an incoming tide, you're more apt to see the tarpon rolling out in the main channel and you can throw it at them. And two, you hit these cutoffs where it's going to hit the tide the hardest first. Now once the tides came up a little bit, then that's when you start to venture off into the little back cuts of these canals. You don't want to be backed on a super low tide because your odds of catching anything are very low because the fish haven't got there yet. So when you're fishing, oh man, yeah, so that was a little snook. Something I love about fishing artificial is you get really good at casting because you're casting over and over again and you're trying to pitch a bait into such small areas and tight spaces so you get really good at casting because you figure a guy that throws artificial all day will go out and he'll throw hundreds and hundreds of casts throughout the whole day Whereas a guy with that's using bait won't throw nearly as much just because they're throwing it out and letting it sit, throwing it out and letting it sit. So usually when you're throwing artificial, you throw a lot more, you have a lot more casts throughout the day and you eventually get good. All right, so I'm just going to go up in this little area. The water flows through on this backside and comes through and funnels through. You can see where it's funneling through pretty heavy right there, so that's going to be a good place just to post up and pitch to. It just got really shallow also. You can see it's real muddy bottom. So this area is going to be a nice area to kind of sit and pitch to. Might actually just anchor down right here so I can hit all these areas. Hopefully, it's muddy enough to where it allows me to stick this in pretty good. Yeah. Okay. So, I brought the anchor just in case it was going to be too deep. Oh, there's fish over there. I can pitch it in these little areas where the water's flowing out of. I don't know if you can see this, but the water's flowing through there really nice. You can actually see a little bit of movement of bait or something up that way. So I'm able to pitch where I'm at now. I'm able to pitch at that corner, that spot, that spot, and this wall. So I'm gonna hit that corner. And these spots where you can see the water coming through like this is really good spots to try to throw at. See, I might have to go grab that. Nope. See, bait just jumped out right there. Let's see if I can. Oh, yeah, there's someone hauling butt through here. Oops. 
Someone's running really shallow. Yeah, there's a lot of bait all over here. I'm probably not gonna be able to hit that side over there. So I'll probably have to move to hit that side, but I'm gonna hit these few spots right here. Since it has some mullet, I'm gonna throw my paddle tail out there. Now, this guy, I put a loop knot on it just because I planned on going back to Boca. Use it a little bit more action. I didn't put him on the Texas eye because I wanted to be able just to straight retrieve it just in case I went back to Boca Friday. Instead of bouncing around on the trout eye. This thing's a little bit more weedless than the um, trout eye is. Check my drag, yeah, I need to. Let's see if we can't get that corner over there. Deep in there. Oh, I just got bumped again. Dang, these snook are so small they can't get their mouths on the hook. That's good, seeing all these small snook back up in here. That means you know that the big ones are coming up here during the spring and stuff. Let's see. Oh, there's a big old trash can right there. back so a nice little cut right here I think this leads right out to where we were this in the very beginning so just trying it out see if that's what it is like looks like this comes right it's like a little shortcut to the back to the beginning all right so I'm gonna put this fluke up stretch it up we're gonna start making our way back Looks like it comes right out. Looks like it's a little shortcut, but you never know. I might end up having to go all the way back. Didn't look on the map, but just figured I'd wing it. This whole trip was pretty much about just winging it. Heck, it might come to a dead end, but I'm glad I actually put in because this spot is, I mean, I can come here on a Monday after work load my kayak up my kids schools right here so I can just this is awesome I'm glad I actually did this you know I missed quite a few little snook I'm gonna pitch in there real quick missed a few smaller snook that just means that there's definitely gonna be bigger ones here Should have threw my uh, fluke in my jerk shed. Yeah, 
about time to call it a day anyways. Alright guys, so this is going to be the end of the video. I'm actually pulling up to the launch now. I was out here for maybe an hour, I think, at most. I had to have been out here for only about an hour, maybe an hour and 20 minutes. But this video, I didn't catch anything. I missed three or four small snook. They were smaller though, I mean, getting them to get that hook in their mouth sometimes can be a little frustrating, but they're fun nonetheless. But this was just a quick one to show that you know you can find spots near your house on google maps this i've known this kayak launch for a while i mean i just haven't used it and i got off work early so finding little spots like this i mean could be really a hidden treasure because i can tell just by kayaking the maybe half mile that i did that this is going to be a really good spot i mean i missed three or four snook i mean i've seen a lot of activity there's a very nice tidal flow coming through here so this is gonna be a really good spot and i can get off work come here fish an hour and a half then my kids school is right behind me so i can go pick them up and then go home or i can get off work one day and come fish here for two hours and not even have to go far so that's pretty much what this video was about showing you know use go google maps i mean it can really help you you can put the little guy in the street too and even look around to see areas whenever you have a kayak something small that you can just launch within minutes it's it's really pretty cool to have so hope you guys like this video didn't catch any fish but still a little informative i tried to show you how how to fish the corners and how to fish the tide and how to set yourself up a little good better on the corners and stuff so i'll see you guys again and remember there's always time for one more cast i'll see you guys later